Hello everyone, my name is David Richard from Weekly Tools, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to talk about a crucial car component that you might not have heard much about the symptoms of throttle position sensor. Now, don't worry if you're not a car expert, we'll keep things simple and easy to understand. So, let's dive right in and explore the symptoms of a faulty throttle position sensor. What is the throttle position sensor? Before we get into the symptoms, let's quickly understand what a throttle position sensor does. Think of it as a small but essential gadget that communicates with your car's engine, telling it how far you press the gas pedal. It's like the middleman between you and your engine, ensuring you get the right amount of power when you need it. Symptoms of a faulty throttle position sensor. An unexplainable bucking and jerking in the vehicle. Sudden idle surges. Sudden engine stalling without any apparent reason. Hesitation while accelerating. Sudden surges in speed while driving on the highway. Intermittently flashing of check engine light for no apparent reason. Now, let's talk about the symptoms that could indicate a malfunctioning TPS. These signs might seem innocent at first, but they can lead to serious issues if left unaddressed. Inconsistent acceleration. Have you noticed that your car's acceleration is a bit off? Sometimes it feels sluggish, and other times it feels too aggressive. Well, a wonky TPS could be to blame. It might not be sending accurate signals to the engine, leading to an inconsistent driving experience. Stalling or rough idling. Has your car ever stalled unexpectedly, or does it feel shaky when idling? A faulty TPS can cause your engine to receive incorrect throttle readings, which disrupts the idle control and might lead to stalling or rough idling. Trouble shifting gears. If your car struggles to shift gears smoothly, especially during acceleration or deceleration, the TPS might be the culprit. Incorrect throttle input from the sensor can confuse the transmission, resulting in gear shifting issues. Sudden drop or surge in RPM. You might observe random fluctuations in your car's RPM revolutions per minute when driving at a steady speed. A malfunctioning TPS can cause the engine RPM to drop suddenly or surge unexpectedly, affecting your overall driving experience. Decreased fuel efficiency, are you visiting the gas station more frequently than usual? A problematic TPS can mess with the air-to-fuel ratio, leading to inefficient fuel consumption and ultimately hitting your wallet. Now, you might be thinking, okay, these symptoms sound annoying, but are they really a big deal? The answer is yes. Ignoring a faulty throttle position sensor can lead to more severe problems, like damaging your engine or compromising your safety. How to fix a bad throttle position sensor When experiencing symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor, it is essential to take a corrective measures to restore the vehicle's optimal performance. Here's a step-by-step -step guidato fixing a faulty TP sensor. Safety precautions Remember, always safety first. Before proceeding with any repair work, park your car on flat, level area. Ensure the engine is off and the battery is disconnected to avoid potential electrical hazards. Locate the TP sensor. Identify the location of the throttle position sensor in the vehicle. It is usually situated on the throttle body, connected to the throttle plate shaft. Otherwise, you can find it in your car's manual or ask the manufacturer for the exact location of the sensor. Remove the old sensor. Now, you can gently detach the electrical connector then unscrew mounting that holds the old sensor. Ensure that you gently detach the old sensor from the throttle body, install the new sensor, precisely attach the new sensor, hold it with the mounting, and screw it in place. Ensure that you use original or quality compatible sensor component for the optimum performance. Reconnect wiring, as you've successfully installed the new sensor, you can now reconnect the wiring or electrical connector to the new installed sensor. However, you must ensure a proper connection. Finally, there you have it a rundown of the symptoms of a faulty throttle position sensor. Remember, paying attention to your car's signals and acting promptly can keep your ride running smoothly and safely. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope it was informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.